Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is GB Winging It. And Precious Cargo. And uh, today, it's raining. It's been a while since uh, we did a video. But we decided to do one today because today's a special day. The Goldwing DCT tour that we vlog about gets a stable mate. It's about time it had a little company in the shed. So we decided to do something totally different. We decided to go with a CV 1000 R. Let's get this rolling. Let's get this rolling. And as luck would have it, it's raining because that's what happens when you go to pick up a new bike. It rains. Okay. So you got the kill switch up to kill the engine, down to also start the engine. On this side, you got mode. Here's your selector button. So you can go through the different modes, standard, rain. Here's your horn. Signal, sensor to cancel it. Here's your high beam and daytime running beam. The daytime running beam also acts as a passing beam. So you can trigger it and it would flash. Got gotcha. Right up here in your top hand, you'll have the hazards. Throw those on whenever you feel like you need to. You got the gas gauge right here. Same key that starts the car. Also opens up the gas. Hey, this is no car. It's a motorcycle. Starts the motorcycle. There you go. There you go. <laughs> starts the engine. All right. Okay. <laughs> also opens up the gas tank. Yeah. 93 or higher. Premium. Oh, not like my gold wing. My gold wing takes 87. 87, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. TV 1000 R. Premium fuel. 93. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> so, over here you have your odometer. Right now, you're at zero miles. Woo. That's it. See, looks great. Thanks so much. You're ready to ride. Yeah. Go. Enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we pulled over to the side of the road and set up my camera equipment. It's been a while since I did a vlog and just figured I'd uh, throw some initial impressions on. We have it in traction. Uh, we have it in rain mode. Traction control on full. Engine braking on full. It is raining out here. So we're going to have to take it easy on these tires. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. All right. Wow. Right off the bat, I gotta tell you, these Honda engines are smooth right out of the box. Oh, so smooth. Tell you, I wouldn't expect anything less from a Honda in line four. Now, for you guys who've been following the channel, you know that uh, I've had quite a few Hondas. I started out with a CB1100 EX, or Deluxe as it was back in 2014. I also had a VFR 800F that I enjoyed immensely. That V4 soundtrack was phenomenal. And then I uh, went with the Valkyrie the new Valkyrie in it. It was a sweet ride, but I had missed that V4. So I picked up a VFR 1200X, which is their adventure model. And uh, it provided beautiful soundtrack, incredible power, and wonderful comfort. I even did a uh, iron butt on that bike. Then I picked up a Goldwing, and, and that's what I have now. I have a Honda DCT Goldwing that I love and I vlog about. If you're following the channel, you know how much I love that bike. But that bike needed a stable mate. Ooh, I like how that sounds. Once again, new tires. bike has two miles on it. Wow. Oh, this is smooth. I like this.
I guess I'll have, I have to get some muscle memory going uh, with regard to gear shifting and, and what happens at the stoplight. I tell you, that DCT will spoil you. Kind of like the exhaust note. Well, as I age, um, I'm not one to uh, put on loud exhausts. Usually, usually for aesthetics is the reason why I would make a change like that. I know it's only been 10 minutes, but uh, it's rather comfortable. The bars aren't or any stretch. The seat is what it is. And in rain mode in six gear, I'm at uh, 55 miles an hour. <laughs> I guess that's one of the benefits of being on a naked bike coming off the goal wing. It's that wind protection. You get your speeds up and you, it, it feels like you're doing 20 miles an hour less than what you're actually doing. And on a naked bike, you do feel uh, some resistance. Let's drop it down a gear and Ooh. All right. I hear it. The last three months, it, it's been nothing short of trying at times. And without going into too much detail, the summer started off with some good news. Precious Cargo and I became grandparents. For the sixth time we had a, our fourth grandson was born. And his name is Joseph. Unfortunately, two weeks later, we would lose our son-in-law. And uh, his untimely We lost him in early July. And that took us into somewhat of a tailspin. Now we're back. And we have some things going on in our lives that, that are positive and it really it is always positive even when the going gets tough there's reason to be grateful so you get new people into the family get ushered in and others they aren't with us anymore only in memories and in our hearts we also brought in a pet yeah, we brought in uh, Milo. We welcome Milo to the family. Say hi, my name is Milo. I'm new to the family. Oh. Come on, Milo. We rescued an animal. I had to do it. And this is rain mode. And this is breaking. <laughs> That's another story altogether. Breaking. What are your thoughts on breaking? Do you follow the manufacturer's suggested breaking procedures? Or do you break them in? As much as I'd like to tell you, I pay attention to the manufacturer. I have a tendency to do my own thing. Ooh, I like the way this sounds. So I'll get this bike in the shed at home and give it the once over. I mean, anytime you pick up a bike in the rain, hey. But I must say, and I don't know how much this is going to change tomorrow when the 
the conditions, the road conditions are a little bit more favorable, but I must say, the rear preload, I mean, it, it's super smooth for the highway. I can see why they deliver these bikes like this. You get on them, you get on them and you're like, hey, it's pretty smooth. But it definitely needs to be tweaked. Because the way I'm twisting this, even in rain mode, I should feel the front end getting lighter. And I don't. And that's probably due to the preload being so low and maybe she she wants to squat a little bit. Don't squat on me. Don't you dare squat on me. Ooh, like how that sounds. All right, things are a little wet over here, so this is my stop. Doesn't it feel great picking up a bike? Getting to know you. First date. She be winging it. She be riding it. <laughs> Suspension is handling this crappy road. I'm impressed. Let's see if I can't dial in some improvement. But so far, so good. I mean, again, my weight with gear, I'm at 220. And, and these bikes are, are set up from the factory designed for someone who's, uh, what, 150 tops. A lot of these uh, YouTubers out there reviewing, these guys are slim. They're small guys, they, especially the ones with the race background. Not all, but some are. Look at that. I got 13 miles now. Woohoo! Who said 13 was unlucky? It wasn't me. Let's see if we can't get it out of this mode. Let's hit this mode. Nope. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that sport. Let's stick it in standard. And that gave me tr traction control of two, engine braking of two, and two thirds power versus. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I wonder if I could shift this on the fly. That was so intuitive. I've had this bike for 20 minutes. And I'm already into the uh, display and using it. Pretty intuitive. But we're gonna switch it back because it's a little too happy. Let's get it back to rain mode. Again, easy peasy. Oh yeah, I can hear the difference. Okay guys, that's it for me. Thanks for coming along for the ride, picking up the stable mate for the 2018 Honda Going DCT Tour. CB1000, ah. Oh. Have a great day. She be winging it. And I am out. Mm -hmm.